This is Robin, a 2007 66-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats and fitted out by her owners. It's been the same owners actually since, since she was originally launched. She's in lovely condition. She's been repainted in 2015, re-blacked in 2016, engine serviced in 2016, December. She's got new carpets. The windows are privacy glass. So you can't see in. It's just a film. You can take the film off if you don't want them or like them. Uh, but it does give you uh, some privacy when you're moored up alongside the towpath. Gas bottles in the barrels. There's only one with the side of this boat, but it is equipped for two. And into the saloon. It's huge, 17 feet long. There's a sofa bed here. The, berth is, the bed is currently equipped with six berths. Two on the sofa bed here in the saloon. More so squirrel stove in the corner that has a back boiler, which in addition to the Webasto central heating system powers the three radiators on board. Enormous space in here. It's oak face ply below the gunnels and it's painted beach with oak trim above the gunnels and on the ceiling. The dinette follows on from the saloon. Oak block table. And that, of course, doubles up as a twin berth also. Let's just have another look down the saloon. Almost need the zoom lens. It's, it's, it's huge. The kitchen's lovely. There's a side hatch there. Oak surfaces in here. Lots of cupboards. There's an eye-level oven and grill. with cupboards underneath with pull-out shelves. The cupboard under the sink has a, the carousel arrangement. I feel a bit like I'm doing a video for the International Cupboard Convention. If there is one, I'm not sure. But there really is lots of storage on this boat. The fridge under the sink, three good sized drawers here. and the gas hob here on the right. It's quite a practical horseshoe arrangement in here. The side hatch, of course, gives you plenty of light and ventilation. Down through the corridor on the starboard side into the bathroom, there's a Thetford cassette loo in here. It's against the bedroom bulkhead, so if you did want to put a pump out loo system in it's very easy there's plenty of space under the bed tank could go in there lots of shelving and cupboards floor to ceiling shelves to the left of the shower and a good size shower cubicle here with a glass frosted glass door And down towards the bedroom. As I say, there is nothing under the bed. It is completely open for storage, easily accessible. And there's plenty of room on the walls here if you were to want to put up shelves or cupboards, bookshelves, reading lights. The washing machine is at the foot of the bed in the cupboard there. It's a top loader. A hanging wardrobe here with shoe shelves at the bottom. The calorifier is under the inverter there. And two floor to ceiling cupboards, wardrobe, shelves, call them what you will, on the left here. And up onto the step ladders, onto the stern deck, which is very large. It's seven, over seven feet long, actually. The pram hood is down here, but it's in good condition. Very easily erected, dismantled. And under the deck here is the Isuzu 35 engine. And this is the view from the helmsman's position. 
just trying here to give you a feeling of how much space there is on the stern deck. And that's Robin. For further information, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.